Okay, so let's solve this problem. So find the equation of parabola with vertex at uh, negative 2 and 3 and focus at 0, 3, then graph the parabola. Now first, we need to graph the parabola uh, using the given coordinates. So we have the vertex that's negative 2 and 3, that's the vertex, and focus that's uh, 0, 3. Okay, then uh, in a parabola, focus is always inside the parabola. So therefore, our graph opens to the right because focus always inside the parabola and formula so our formula now now observe that our parabola passes through two points on y axis so we have uh, two points on y so therefore we're going to use the y squared formula and since uh, opens to the right or opens to the positive x so our p is positive so that's positive for p so this is the formula that we're going to use now to solve for p, that's the distance from the vertex to the focus. So distance from vertex to focus is our p. And you just have to count to get the value of p. Now, in counting, uh, this is how to count. 1, 2. So again, start counting on the next uh, point. So 1, 2. So therefore, our p is 2. Then h and k, that's the vertex of the uh, parabola since we have the given vertex negative 2 and 3 so therefore h is negative 2 and k is 3 so uh, using these uh, values so we can solve now our equation of uh, parabola using this formula so we just have to substitute these values on this formula so we have y minus k k is 3 that's equals to 4p p is 2 and x minus uh, negative 2, h negative 2. Then simplify, so 4 times 2, that's 8, this one is x minus negative 2, this positive 2. So this is our standard form. And to get our uh, general form, so to solve for the general form, we just have to expand the whole equation. So first, uh, we need to expand y minus 3 to the power 2 so this is how to expand uh, this equation so we have two ways the FOIL method and the SMS method now in FOIL method you just have to rewrite y minus 3 twice then apply FOIL method so y times y y times negative 3 negative 3 times y and negative 3 times negative 3 then uh, you combine like terms so this negative 3 and negative 3 you can combine that one so y squared equals negative 6y plus 9. For the SMS method, so square of the first term, so y squared, then you multiply the whole equation. So 2 times y times negative 3, that's negative 6y. And the square of the second term, the square of negative 3, that's 9. Then you combine, so y squared minus 6y plus 9. Okay, so these are the two methods. Now, so therefore, y minus 3 to the power 2 is equals to y squared minus 6y plus 9. And on the right side, uh, apply distributive property. So 8x, 8 times 2, that's 16. Then equate the whole equation to 0. So all uh, terms from the right transpose to the left. So we have uh, positive 8x transpose. So negative 8x. This one, positive 16 transpose. So we have negative 16. Then you combine like terms. So we have 9 and negative 16. And arrange your equation. So y squared minus 8x minus 6y. Then uh, 9 minus 16. It's negative 7. And this is your general form.